I'm growing tired of seeing those on the right. This is not all of those on the right. This is not everyone. Okay, let me state that flat out from the start. But those on the right basically parroting the same tactics used by religious fundamentalists. The type of religious fundamentalists who say, it's not hate speech, it's my religious freedom. So, if you're on the right, it's okay, somehow, to have very hateful ideologies. You, know, you can have a mindset that women are inferior, and if someone calls you out on it for being hateful, you'll say, thinking someone's inferior, that's not hate, that's thinking someone's inferior. It's the same type of mindset that gets used when people say negative things about black people. Oh, I just think they're inferior. Uh, that's not hateful. Really stretching things quite a bit. Um... You know, lots of blaming, you know, when it comes to uh, women, uh, it, there's the, you know, attitude towards women, attitudes towards women. It's like, let's blame the women. Let's not blame the reasons why women f feel they need to be certain ways. No, let's blame the women themselves. Let's blame black people themselves. Let's not blame the scenarios they live under. Let's not blame the attitudes that are pushed forth towards black people. No, let's blame black people. Let's not blame, you know, uh, the scenarios that have been towards gay people. Let's not blame homophobia. No, let's blame gay people. Lots of this kind of mindset going around. And you'll state the, the, the rationality is it's not hate speech. It's not hateful. You're trying to censor my beliefs. What's the difference between, the, you know, whether you can find some fucked up rationality for your beliefs or a fundamentalist religious person saying, um, well, it's my religious freedom. I mean, what's the fucking difference? What is the difference? It's a tweet that I saw recently. It shows a picture of a picture of a feminist that says, "I want to censor hate speech, except when it's uh, against the people that I hate." Okay, this, and and I know what it's trying to say. Okay, I know what it's trying to say. There are some feminists out there who are basically misandric, okay? I, I get that. But what this sort of thing is shoving forth as of lately is this idea that to be hateful towards people for being something that they can help for being something that they have full control over is the same thing as being hateful towards people because of something they have no control over. Um, 
it's basically declaring that intolerance of intolerance is the same thing as being intolerant of someone for something they cannot help, that they have no control over. You know, this is, this is, this is what has been very irritating about I don't know, it just seems right-wing ideologies are spreading like a fucking cancer. And you can't... There's, there's no way to logically or rationally discuss anything about it. Because the same kind of mindset will get used as the religious fundamentalists. Well, it's, it's, it's my freedom to believe this way. It's not hateful, and no matter how you try to break it apart, they'll, they'll say that you claiming that it, their belief is hateful is a form of censorship. Telling them that their belief is hateful is a form of censorship. How do you deal with that sort of thing? Well, you can't. And now there are things like uh, shadow banning happening on Twitter. And people are very, very much up in arms over it. And I don't think that's the right route to go. I don't think shadow banning is the right route to go, but it's understandable why it's happening. Because there is no way to win with people that have this kind of mindset. There's no rationality that can, that can, that can discuss any of it. There's no, there, there's nothing. And it is against any sort of social change at all. It, it, the, these kind of, these kind of mindsets, these, these specific kinds of right-wing ideologies are completely against social change. Completely against them. And it's, it's becoming, it's getting very irritating that people that normally would have been considered left-wingers or liberals who want to promote acceptance and tolerance of people are going towards this, towards, well, I'm gonna, since I'm on the camera, uh, well, going towards the right, no, the the right, put it that way because that's the way you see it from the camera's perspective. Um, and there just seems to be nothing to be able to be done about it. Things are headed that direction. And again, it's, it's this mindset of, well, if you're intolerant of this kind of belief, then you're, you're just generally an intolerant person. And it's just like, no, I am intolerant of intolerance. I am intolerant of the feminists who shove forth misandric bullshit. I am intolerant of of people who shove forth racist bullshit, no matter who it's racist against. I am intolerant of that. I am intolerant of sexism on all sides. I am intolerant of racism on all sides. I am intolerant of homophobia, heterophobia. Okay, I'm not tolerant of that shit. And just because you come from a particular ideology doesn't mean that uh, what you're saying isn't hateful. And some of the reasons why so many on the left have been going the route they have in this 
uh, social justice warrior kind of mindset, not real social justice, but the social justice warrior type of mindset, is because they're constantly fighting, we're constantly fighting against this bullshit narrative from the right. You know, we're some some of us, some people are just kind of giving up. We don't we don't know what to do anymore. Because it's no longer just religious fucktards shoving forth these sorts of concepts. It's it's people that are on the right that want to shove forth hateful bullshit. And there's there's no how do you fight against that? People can try to fight against it with love, but finding where that is and how that can be done is very, very difficult. And becomes more difficult the more hateful those on the right become. So... Yeah.